we're going to look at PaintShop Pro with a bit of a different perspective. When you take a picture of a tall or wide object, the resulting photographs may have perspective distortion. That is, the objects may seem to be leaning or angled. This distortion occurs when a camera is at an angle to the subject. In this quick tutorial, we'll take a look at perspective correction. By using the perspective correction tools, you can fix perspective distortion, such as angled sides of buildings. You can also fix photographic perspective in an entire layer by using the pick tool. First, let's take a look at perspective correction tool. In the edit workspace, I'm going to select my first image. Once I have my image open, I'm going to select the perspective tool. It's located underneath the straighten tool. You'll notice that I have a bounding box. I'm simply going to move the four nodes of this bounding box to the four corners of the image that I have hanging on the wall. Once I have these in place, it's simply a matter of clicking on the check mark on the property bar. So as you can see, it's very easy. Let's take a look at another image. I'm going to select my next image and I'm going to move the nodes for my bounding box to the four corners of the face of the building. I'm looking at the building itself and I can see horizontal and vertical lines within the building and I want to match these lines up with my bounding box. Once I'm satisfied with that, I'll simply click on the check mark. Now I mentioned you can also fix photographic perspective in the entire layer by using the pick tool. I'm going to go ahead and open up this image and rather than using the perspective tool, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to select my pick tool and you'll notice that on the interactive property bar at the top under mode I have scale. I'm going to change this to perspective and I'll simply grab this node, pull this out and both the horizontal nodes move in symmetry with each other. I'll bring this out to about here that now has changed my perspective. I think I'll move that in a little bit. Of course, I can also go to my view menu and turn on grid and that will help me line things up. You may notice that my image is a little bit squished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my image menu down to canvas size and I'm going to increase the height of my canvas. I'll click OK to this. Let me go back up to view and I'm going to turn off the grid. When I select my pick tool, I'm going to go from mode to scale. I'm going to stretch this up a little bit and that removes the distortion from my image. Now it's simply a matter of cropping out the portion of the image that I want. And I have effectively fixed the perspective on this image. Let me undo this. And I'm going to use the perspective correction tool for this image as well, just to show you one more feature within that. So I select the perspective correction tool. On my interactive property bar at the top, note that I have guidelines. If there's a number of lines in the image that I want to try and match to, I can add guidelines to my perspective grid. I'll bring that up a bit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this point on the bounding box. I'm going to go right below the balcony of this church and to the outside edge. I'm going to follow the line straight up and I'll go across the top of the church and do the same on the right side. Again, trying to follow the line straight up and across the top of the church. I'm happy with that. Let me bring this one down just a bit. And I'll select the check mark that will allow me to correct the perspective of this image. Now, because that was a floating object on a background, it's simply a matter of using my crop tool to crop out the area that I want. So, as you can see, a couple of different ways to fix perspective correction in PaintShop Pro. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please be sure to check out the Discovery Center at learn.corel.com for more equally informative tutorials.